introduction as to why we're all here, right? You guys are probably starving. Everybody hungry? Yeah. yeah. What's better than food? Free food, right? As much of it as you want. So, my name is Chef Paul Guerrero. Um, a brief history on me, I'm the culinary director for Cooking Skills Academy, which is a cooking school in Itasca. We also have an event company. We're doing a great big event over at Arlington Park Racecourse in a couple weeks. If you guys want to find out more information, you can chat with me. Uh, prior to this, I was the executive chef for Wildfire Restaurants for about eight years. And uh, the way that I'm involved with the owner here, Greg Barnhart, is for about 10 years, I've been running my own restaurant consulting business. And uh, he's a client of mine. So I'm the consulting chef for Toasty Cheese. And uh, he just got his truck one week ago, okay? So I said, let's get him out there, let's throw him in the fire, let's see what he's made of, right? So this is the first time, really, we're using this truck. Okay? The first time really we're cooking on this truck. The first time these guys have ever made these sandwiches. But we decided to bring out the professionals. We got five food trucks here today, right? We got some food critics here, the bloggers, right? He wrote a book. Uh, what's the name of your book? Running a food truck for dummies. Running a food truck for dummies. <laughs> <laughs> what? Not that we're calling you a dummy. <laughs> okay. But what better guy to have here than him, right? So the way it'll work today is Come up here, you're gonna place some orders with me. We're gonna run this as if we're really up and running. I wanna kinda of show Greg what the deal is, and then uh, in a little bit, we'll kinda of get him in there as well. So we have a great uh, amount of people that are coming through, that just right now, um, throughout the next hour. So taste everything you'd like. If you have a question about the menu, let us know. We have the menu nice and simple. I think in the restaurant business today, that is one of the smartest things to do, is move towards a simpler, menu, simpler, better. So, I will go over every sandwich a little bit right now. At the top we have the duck BLT. That starts right there. It's made with duck bacon, okay? Processed, made the same way that bacon is made except with duck, okay? And then we also have um, our classic. You gotta have a classic grilled cheese, right? So you have a single and a double. If you want a triple layer grilled cheese, just ask. We'll give you three layers of bread and two layers of cheese, oozing out of it if you're really hungry. The next one is the classic with bacon. Hickory smoked apple bacon. Next one down is the teriyaki tower. That's made with chicken, a homemade teriyaki sauce, and actually sweetened with Greg's own line of honey. He also has another company that distributes honey. So it's great, great honey. He could probably tell you more about it. I'm not gonna pretend like I know about it, but it's great honey. Uh, we'll use that in his teriyaki sauce as well. The next sandwich down is the uh, caprese melt. Basically a traditional caprese is mozzarella, some tomatoes, some fresh basil, right? and balsamic. In this, we have some very special product to that. We have Sicilian cherry tomatoes that come from Italy. Okay, when you guys try these, they're phenomenal with the diet. And on top of that, it's finished with a little bit of balsamic, but it's not actually balsamic, it's the first stage. Am I right, Suzanne? It's the yeah. first stage, she's the professional, she's from Viola, and she actually, this balsamic is before what? Before it's fermented, or what happens there? barrel so it's sweeter it's basically a balsamic syrup right it's a sweet grape syrup so we finish that on top on the caprese and then last and not least is the uh, steak and blue cheese it's uh, grass-fed beef with blue cheese and the blue cheese that we have actually isn't traditional crumbles it's a cheese that's processed in slices it's a high quality cheese but they're they're made in slices so you could actually have sliced blue cheese um, and then we have three different french fries you guys can take a look on the menu we have the Greek Basically a little bit of uh, fresh rosemary, some fresh herbs, served with a lemon wedge if you like lemon on top. And then we have the classic, all of our fries are hand cut, deep fried here, and then duck fat fries as well. Meaning, the fries are cooked in duck fat. So what's better than that? I don't know. And then sweet potato fries too, finished with Greg's uh, homemade honey as well. So the space we're standing in right now, and then I'll let you guys eat, is actually going to be transformed into a commissary. There will be three functioning kitchens here, Okay, so if you're a food truck or you know somebody who needs a commissary, uh, we all know that a food truck needs to be attached to the commissary. The catering business, this is a great place for it. And uh, you can always talk to Greg about that. If you guys have any questions, we'll be roaming around. I'll be coming around and we got our media team here. So if you have a food truck, I'm gonna hunt you down because we're gonna get some uh, testimonials from you and post you up, get you out there in the, uh, in the Twitter world and the social media world as well. So this guy right here, he's, he's a social media king. And he, uh, he knows everybody, right, Todor? Yeah? He helped me out with this as well. Todor uh, works for Le Cordon Bleu as well, so he's a great contact. Talk to him, pick his brain. Uh, without him, really, this event wouldn't, tonight, in a moment's notice, wouldn't be as uh, successful as it is. So thank you, Todor.
very, very much. Okay? So, when you guys are ready to come up and eat, come and talk to me and we'll place your orders. Okay? Great. Awesome.